Okay, so I'm back and uh, we're going to finish up the very last process that I have to do for my pineapples. And this is going to be the pineapple peel juice that I made. It's been sitting in the refrigerator for the last couple of days waiting for the load of pineapples to finish. So I uh, got that finished, got it all cleaned out, ready to go for the next batch of pineapple peel juice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the juice in here. Normally I pre-freeze everything that goes into the freeze dryer, but I'm out of freezer space, so I won't be doing that this time. But this thing will freeze it just fine. It just takes a little bit longer for the load. So I'm going to um, stick this in here. We're going to let it go through its process. And when I take this out, I'm going to have um, pineapple powder, which I'm going to blend in like the Vitamix, um, blend it down into a finer powder. And then I can just invite anytime I want pineapple flavoring to something, I can just take a scoop of that and throw it in there. I will make really good chi cheese. That's what I'm thinking. We're gonna give it a try. So since they're not pre-frozen, I'm gonna stick these in here and just leave a little bit hanging out. And then I'm just gonna fill up the Tray. Yeah, it looks pretty level. And just finish sliding the tray back in there carefully so I don't spill up everywhere. And I'll just do that with all four of these trays. that is right at one gallon of juice that I got in there, about four cups per tray. I'm just going to let this thing do its thing for a little day and a half, two days, Let's see how long it takes. It's at 25 degrees right now, so because I've been pre-cooling it, so uh, it shouldn't take long to get that stuff frozen up and, and start drying. Well, okay, it's time to take out the uh, pineapple peel juice that I'm gonna make into powder. It's been running for 47 hours, uh, which is quite a long dry time, but I was sick yesterday too, so I just let it run, just let it keep running. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of here now and then I'm going to take it into the kitchen and powder it up. Get my hands really dry because I don't want to introduce any moisture back into that powder. I just spent 47 hours pulling it all out of there. Just chunking that up a little bit so it'll be easier to go into the, into the container here.
looks pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna need that great big old half gallon jar because I don't think it's gonna make that much. Very sticky. I have any of you Vitamix users out there who are sitting there laughing at me right now because I don't know how to use my Vitamix. You should just, you know, write down in the comments how I'm supposed to be doing this. Actually, I like my ninja better for this process. Let me give that one more blitz for the stuff that was up on the sides. Well, there we have it. That is one gallon of uh, pineapple peel juice condensed down, freeze dried and condensed down into a powder. And I probably got, I, I don't even know if I have a quart there, but uh, I'm actually gonna put that into a smaller jar. I'm trying to pint jar. I thought I'd end up with more than that. So messy. <laughs> All right, so I ended up with just a little over a pint jar of powder, and I have just a little bit more left there that I'm going to put into another jar. But uh, there you have it pineapple peel powder, and I'm going to use this. I'm not sure. I can make this back into juice by just adding water to it. So it still has all the health benefits, um, everything yummy and delicious that was in the pineapple peel juice to begin with is now in this powder. So I can literally just make this back into juice if I wanted to. Um, I'm thinking I can add this to smoothies to add some not only delicious pineapple flavor, but also some health benefits into my smoothies. Um, I don't know if you had this, what would you use it for? Let me know. All right, and to keep this fresh for a uh, long term, well, I mean, not, you know, 25 years or anything, but for quite a few months, it should be just fine in this jar. I have this uh, jar sealer right here, and I'm just gonna stick that on there, turn it on, let it run for 40 seconds, should seal that up nicely and that way it's not getting any air into it or anything like that so let it 
good tug. It's uh, when they're nice and solid, no air. Now my very last segment of this whole pineapple charade is going to be, I'm going to take some of this powder this is, that's left over and I'm going to make myself a Chi Chi. I'll let you know how that tastes. All right, I don't like to waste anything and uh, I like to experiment. So I just took the jar that I had that I transferred over to a smaller jar and there was still some powder left swishing around in there. So I just add a little bit of water so that I can uh, see how it tastes. Hmm, a little watery. Needed more powder, I shouldn't have added so much water, but it's still pretty good. <laughs>